Hi, I'm Ali from ahan.co.uk. This video is about the Moto 360 battery. Now, I've had this watch for a long time. My girlfriend bought it for me for my birthday. Uh, but I haven't used it because it just doesn't work very well. It doesn't last very long at all. Uh, pretty sad because it's a really nice watch. And if you got it, I'm sure you actually love this watch or used to when it worked. Um, I'm going to show you how to replace the battery to revive it and bring it back to life. Uh, what you need is a brand new battery, a link in the description. You also get with that a kit to take it apart and you're going to need a hair dryer. Let's do this. Alright, so if you take a look at this watch, it has the rubber band all around it. This might look difficult to take apart, but it's quite easy. There's a ring that's holding it all in place right now. And uh, we gotta get that off first, and then the back plate here. So to do that, you gotta warm it up a little bit and then pry it off. To warm it up, I'm using a hair dryer. You can use a heat gun, but I wouldn't. Hair dryer would do just fine. And then we'll pry it off. Here we go. That should be hot enough. Now I just need to find a tool that I can pry it off with. So with the battery you get a few tools with it. This one might do it, but I got a feeling it may not. Oh wait, no that was quite easy. So pry tool here, and it just fine. There we go. And it's probably hot enough now that I can get the back plate off. It's a little more difficult. Mm. Mm, There's a lot of grime in this. Okay, I think it's gonna need some more heat, so I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, let's take that dirt off. Oh, that's quite hot. Right, we might need something a bit stronger here, so that one doesn't really have grip, so let's try this. We have lift off. So try and be careful here. That ring there is what charges the batteries, so it's quite delicate. Let's keep that on. Uh, okay, so now we gotta lift it up from the cage around here, so it's like a rubber cage. Alright, so this isn't coming up. Mainly because of this button here that's stopping it. So we got to pry that off. Now, I don't know if you can see the little indentations into it right there. Okay, so I'm back with a very small flathead screwdriver. Now we don't pry this off, you kind of got to screw
screw it off. So if you see these indentations here, you gotta push on those indentations and it eventually screws off. There we go, we got it out, that screw. Okay, now we should be able to lift it quite easily. There we go. There's a groove here that you can get leverage from. And there we have it, the battery. Okay, so that looks like it was plugged in under there. Yep, yeah. so underneath that plastic is where the battery plugs in. Right, so. Let's just double check it's the same one. FW3S, FW3S. This one looks a bit more bulkier. So yeah, <laughs> you can tell the size difference. Which one's the faulty one? <laughs> Now this thing here keeps it in place. There, finally. Let's put it back on. Okay, so I've just had to pry it out again, mainly because I didn't think to line up the hole. Do that now. Yes, so that looks pretty good. Need to hear that click. Just put that in now. Back plate as before now this is probably not gonna stay on very easily so I'll probably have to glue it at some point I'll see how I get on 
just want to test the battery first. But once it's open, it's pretty easy to open again. Right, I'll clean it up and then switch it on. <laughs> 